Hiya, welcome to Park It Racing. Thanks for taking a look at our video. Today we're going to be looking at cassette gearboxes. We're going to do a little time lapse of us taking one out. In this case, it's going to be this ZX10 uh, Generation 5 right behind me here. Um, and then once the gearbox is out, we're going to do another little video just about what is in the gearbox. What does it do? What we're looking for when we're looking for where. Um, around this time of year, winter time, when all the bikes have done their summer riding, uh, granted there hasn't been a lot of racing, but it has been a lot of track days. Um, so people are bringing their machines in for us to do the winter inspections. Uh, and in this case, it's a gearbox pull, check the clutch, check the gears and things like that. The beauty of the cassette gearbox is we haven't got to drop the engine for it. So it's a relatively simple procedure from our point of view to pull that out and have a little look at it just to make sure that the gentleman's not going to have any surprises come next season. So take a look, put your comments below. Any queries or questions, you can either leave them in the comment section below here. Check out our Facebook page, which is Park It Racing, uh, or we're on Instagram, Park It Dino and Suspension. Uh, that's our other side of the business, uh, where we look at um, winter servicing and suspension, upgrades, etc., etc., and dyno work. Um, and once we've been doing here, this bike here will be heading over to the dyno for, for checking. So really, as a business, we're all encompassing. We've got the mechanical side of things, and then we've got the performance side of things. So like I say, without further ado, let's get cracking and get this gearbox out. Now that's the clutch out, we will inspect that later. We'll be checking the steel plates for flatness, for overheating, and we'll be checking the friction plates for any abnormal wear and obviously thickness, and we'll change those accordingly. Now let's get the gearbox out. So here we have the cassette gearbox out on the bench and this is basically how it works. So we have here the end of the shift drum. See the shift drum here? The shift drum has various cuts in it. You've got a number of forks, one to the shaft, another to the shaft underneath. When you change gear, a rod comes through this hole here with an adjuster that moves that. So basically, this will rotate. You can't do this, there we go, like that. And you can see the shift forks moving. Well, that is what's bringing each gear into interact with the other gear, therefore changing the gears. So the things we're looking for is wear in these and in the gears. But we'll have a look at that in just a second. So when it comes to the gearbox, what we're looking for is a few things. One is on certain gears, they accept the dog gear. Now this is the dog here. We're looking to make sure that that edge there, nice and crisp, and there's no damage to it, and it pieces off, or if it's angled. And then we're looking on the corresponding gear for the same thing. So we do that throughout the entire sets of shafts. We also look at the forks. Now, is there any excessive wear? Is there any marks? Are they to the recommended thicknesses and things like that? And then finally, people talk about shimming a gearbox. Um, well, what essentially shimming is, if I can bring you in here, you can see there, there's washers um, or shims in between the gears. Now, these gears should have a certain amount of flow or movement in between these washers and in the manual there's a measurement that we can use using a set of feeler gauges we can check that these gaps are correct and if they're not 
we can use a different size shim to actually space out the gearbox to bring it into what the manufacturer intended. And that sharpens uh, the gearbox feel because there's no sloppiness between the gears. It gives a more precise change. Um, and overall, it's better for the gearbox. So we always do those measurements and then shim accordingly. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a cassette gearbox. Um, obviously, I'm not going to go through a video just to show you how we put it all back together because you've roughly seen how it comes together, uh, comes out, should I say. So there we have it. So any queries or questions, um, drop us a line. As I mentioned in the end of... As I mentioned in the end of the, the last little section there, we won't go through how we put it back, but you get the general idea. Cassette gearbox is much easier to work on, take a lot less time, and well worth uh, a little inspection for winter maintenance. Um, as it is, I've checked out this gearbox whilst uh, in between videos, and absolutely fine. No excessive wear, no excessive movement. Um, it's that peace of mind. It will take us approximately an hour uh, once we've got the clutch removed to do the necessary checks, inspections, stripping down and putting back together. So it's not a massive amount. So there's another video for you guys. And of course, if over winter you're considering this kind of job, hook us up once again. Comment section, any questions, or check us out on Facebook or Instagram. Thanks for watching.